We are in Bangkok, Thailand. It's our first time here and we decided to stay in Chinatown. It's actually the largest Chinatown in the world. It is known for its restaurant scene, specifically street food. I'm super hungry. Let's go check it out. So excited. There is so much stuff there that we have never seen before. No frame of reference, yeah. like fried scorpions and stuff. We're really going to get outside our comfort zone. Ah! No, I can't. I'm volunteering you for that one. Oh, come on, Brandy. Eat a scorpion with me. The place with the food stalls is about a kilometer long and it's mostly centered around what's called the Yawarat Road and the side alleys that stick off of it. It doesn't get popping until maybe like 6.30ish, which is why we're out right now at nighttime. And it's Saturday night, so I'm hoping that there's lots and lots of stalls. Also, don't come on Mondays, because I guess that's when most of them are closed, so. I'm glad we went to Vietnam first, because <laughs> I'm much more practiced. This practice. is nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly, it's very easy. So first stop is a Michelin starred restaurant. It sells fried dough. This one? Yeah. With the big one. line. With the big line. Lots of waiting in line tonight. <laughs> Wonderful service. Let's give these a try. They are so hot, I can barely even touch them. They also come with a pandanus custard, which is a grassy shrub valued in Asia for its coloring. You see it in breads and stuff a lot. You don't really see it in the United States, though. So I've never actually had it. We also got the fried dough. Oh, it's so hot. It's so fresh. It's really not much more than fried dough, but then donuts are delicious. Oh, yeah. I've never had anything Michelin starred before. I mean, I don't really know what standard Michelin stuff is supposed to be too, but it's really, really freaking good. Like, this really reminds me of like, the grassy flavor of tea, green tea. Oh. It was only 50 baht, so less than $2. There's a really strange smell though. Oh, what does that smell? Ammonia. It is street food. <laughs> like how chaotic it is. You're sharing the road with cars, with restaurant owners that are like screaming, people all jamming in, walking every which way. There's even a wedding going on right now. Oh, thank you. I have no idea what these are, but they're some sort of little pancake that they make and it's all crispy, sort of like a taco shell. And they fill it with various things and they're advertised as sweet and salty and plain. Let's give it a try. It's both savory and sweet at the same time. I've never had that. It's almost like a shredded sweet potato or something and then covered in black pepper and garlic and chives. And that doesn't sound like it would work well together, but it's extremely delicious. Do you not like that one? Sweetened dried fish with yogurt or something? <laughs> um, I want to try one. I don't even know how to describe that. That was just like a whirlwind of flavor, man. <laughs> it's not really a pancake, it's more like a shawl. It had like a sesame flavor with uh, bitterness in it. This foam is, I think, a meringue with like a little fish or something added maybe, just a little bit. The orange stuff is a little sweet, but then the aftertaste tastes like, like fish boiled in oil. It's like the weirdest thing I've ever eaten. What did we just eat? Tell us in the comments. Somebody tell me. I kind of want something savory. We haven't really had dinner yet. So we saw people making some sort of like little meatballs and we saw a sign that said it was Thai sausage and it looked like quite the process. There was like a two-step cooking process where they were spinning around these little wrapped balls that were all attached to each other. Then they pull them up, partially cut them and like swing off the row and then snip them into individual little balls. <laughs> it doesn't really taste that meaty. It's like they have a sausage casing around soaked or marinated rice. Is that the right word? You're right. It's like 80% rice. It's like yeah. a rice with stock mixture stuffed inside a casing. There's definitely pork in there and a bunch of other spices. It sort of tastes like Thai stir fry, but 
in ball form. They actually really grow on you. Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh -huh. It's exactly what you wanted. How much? 80. It has little hairs on it. Do you think it's like a lobster where all the meat's in the paws? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why she sprayed it with water? Oh, it's soy sauce. Oh. Yeah. Give it a give it a smell. You got an audience now. I know. We have a whole audience watching me. Oh, oh. It's kind of like a really crunchy potato chip. <laughs> or maybe when you like are eating pistachios and you didn't pull one all the way and you bite down on it and get that crunch. It's similar to that level of crunchiness. Like there's a shell. Go figure. Come on, just bite into it. I, that's what I did. Come on. Yeah. Just come on, right through the middle of it. No, I can't. Come on, I took the claws off already. It's all just connective tissue. Come on. It actually tastes pretty good though. I like the soy sauce coating. Bite right through the middle of it. No. Come on. I cannot. Do I don't it for science. I Look at that. Come on, just do it. You do it for science. I already did the claw. You got the claw. I would have had a claw. Come on. No, no, you're Come doing on. it. I'm not doing it. Come on. I'm not doing it. Come on. I'm not. I went first, which was a scary part. No, the thorax is a scary part. No. <laughs> oh yeah, meaty. Oh yeah. He's meaty in there. You know, this is what it comes to with global climate change. I don't think I'm going to be that upset. We spent 80 baht on this bad boy. Come I on. hate myself. Come on. Or, there you go. Oh, it feels gross. There we go. All the way. Come on. Ah. Uh. <laughs> when I bit down, it like sprayed something a little bit in my mouth, but that just really grossed me out. It's just juicy. <laughs> That's all you. I like the nasty, fluffy part. Oh, they. <laughs> yeah, um, I want to go get something to wash that down. <laughs> it's like, I have like scorpion shell kind of sticking in my throat, you know? We got some pork satay, and satay is a little bit of marinated meat and grilled on a skewer. It usually comes with like a peanut sauce and some little veggies you kind of just like pile on top. It's good, it has like some really nice like fresh flavors. And I think adding the fresh vegetables will brighten it up a lot too. There's a lot of complexity in the flavor going on there between the marinade on the meat, vegetables, what's in the sauce. So the meat itself marinated in some sort of sugar, turmeric, maybe a little bit of ginger, actual satay sauce is mostly peanut based, a little bit of sugar in there, chili as well. Together they're really good. The chili pepper and onion kind of, if you can believe it, get lost in that sauce. It's so strong. Let's finish this up and try more food. Uh -huh. Ooh, it looks like you got the last one too. Banana. He's going home. <laughs> <laughs> so these are rotis. They're just sort of fried bread, you know, but they stretch them out really thin, fry them up in oil on sort of like a wok thing. I love them in Malaysia, so gotta get them here as well. Mm, delicious. I thought condensed milk and egg sounded kind of like a interesting combination. I wasn't sure about it. It's actually really good. It tastes like a custard. I would just stop myself. Mm -hmm. It is really good. It's like a lightly sweet, Eggy custard, very eggy custard. Thank you. Oh, look oh at my that. God. It's like <laughs> vibrating with them jumping. It feels terrible. This is the dancing shrimp salad, and it's because they jump. I've seen people shake it, get all everything mixed up, and then you have to like open it really quick, scoop some out, and then eat them before they jump away. Oh my god, they're jumping. They're jumping. It feels bizarre. It's like the freshest seafood you'll ever get, and it's incredibly spicy. Oh, I feel bad. I'm still alive. You going back for a second bite? It's good. It's like actually really good. 
You're right. It's delicious. You sure you don't want a bite? <laughs> yeah, we have an actually, extra spoon, I think. It's really good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get a lot of that in Europe, right? <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Bye. Huh? I love that random Russian guy. We were just like, you want some? And he was like, uh, yeah, okay. Like, you could tell he wanted a bite, but he didn't want the whole thing. Just kind of how I was, but it was pretty funny to watch his reaction. <laughs> Just stumbled onto this chai pancake place. It looked like something I just have to have. I really love chives. It's just a bunch of chives chopped up, and I don't know what the binder is, but it's deep fried and smells delicious. It's so mild. It almost tastes like spinach with like glutinous rice. Mm, I don't think that's chai. <laughs> I think that's spinach. It's like a gooey spinach dough. It's really good, but I think after having such, like a, such a strong flavor on that spinach, or not spinach, uh, shrimp, it's, yeah, you're right. It's just like really, really mellow in comparison. How much is it? 80 bucks. Let's do red dragon fruit. We decided to get some of that ice cream where they smash up the ingredients and then lay it flat and scrape it up. It doesn't look like they roll it here though. Nope, they it, cut it in little tiles. Little tiles, that's a that's good one. Right. She just squished that up so fast. She's already spreading it out. That took like seconds. That was some skill. Thank you. Thank you. That was quite the little show. I think that alone was worth it. That's pretty cool to watch. We got a dragon fruit and they put, uh, it looked like cream. And I think that's all that went into it. Mm. There's not even like sugar added. It's actually really good. When you get the little bits of dragon fruit, it has that like really, really yummy sweetness in the dragon fruit, but the milk is really cool and refreshing without feeling like sweet or heavy, which is really nice because we're kind of full right now. <laughs> so cold, it makes your teeth hurt. Yeah, it's really nice. It is just milk and dragon fruit. Very, very light. Only the slightest hint of sweetness. Chinatown's food scene is so much fun. There's so much unique stuff. And we didn't even begin to like scratch the surface of it. There are literally hundreds of food stalls here. Tomorrow, we're gonna go eat more. Yeah, we're going to the world's biggest market tomorrow. So, see you there. Bye. Bye.